Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So, today we are going to be doing the finale of Steven Universe, season two at least. Yay! It's been a long road, huh? Um, actually, two months, but um, it's been pretty cool. I've gained a couple of new subscribers since then. Uh, somebody commented on my, uh, one of my videos that um, I'm their new comfort channel, and that's adorable. Thank you. Uh, you guys commenting on my stuff is really nice. Um, but I hate long intros and I hate when reactors take too much time, so let's just get right into it. So we're reacting to three. Uh, we just did Steven's birthday last, well, last video. Uh, we're gonna do It Could Have Been Great, Message Received, and Log Date 7152 or 7152. Cool, Steven's birthday, next episode, It Could Have Been Great. Let's see. All right, and as you guys know, we skipped the intro here. <laughs> Because then we get copyrighted. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It could have been great. Steven? <laughs> Hi. Why did we stop working on the drill? Why are they just sitting there looking at nothing? <laughs> we worked hard and we deserve to take it easy for a little bit. I mean, just... Look at that view. Mm. It's beautiful. It's going to be blown to oblivion by the cluster if we don't get back to work. Working hard is important, but feeling good is important too. What are you talking about? What he said. Hey, uh, what is that? A, a seat? Steven has perfect pitch. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, it's music. Music? Yeah, it's music. Like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, mi, so, do. Isn't it pretty? That's exceedingly simple. Do, mi, so, ti. We're making music. Headphone for song. Hmm. Bringing it to completion. On the planet Earth. <laughs> it's kind of catchy, I'm not gonna lie. It is kind of catchy. If you're wondering what I'm eating, I'm eating fruit. An assortment of sorts. Life and death and love and birth and peace and war on the planet Earth. It's so easy. <laughs> She just ate the stick. <laughs> she just ate the stick. I think you're all insane. <laughs> Wait. Is Peridot starting to get it? Was Peridot starting to blend in with the group? Look at that. Look at that friendship montage. Yes. You guys, is Peridot going to be... Um, you know, a, you know, a gem, a crystal gem. Is he? She? She. I keep misgendering Caradoc. I'm sorry. I keep calling he, her a he. And, mm. He? Oh, wait. I need to check something. She's come so far. She really has. It feels like yesterday she was trying to kill us. <laughs> no, no. That was several weeks ago. Coordinates. Thanks, girl. We still need the cluster's <laughs> exact coordinates in order to drill. There's a diamond base that may hold that information, but getting there is going to be difficult. How come? Because it's not accessible by warp pad. Ooh. And it's on... <gasps> the moon! I love the moon. Yes, Stephen, the moon. Lion, can you make us a special super warp to the moon? Come on, Lion, we gotta do this to stop the cluster. If we don't, there's gonna be no more Earth. No more fun times with your pals. No more lion liquors. No more naps. Huh? Naps? You had him at naps. Guess it was naps. <laughs> Nap. He said, wait, hold up. No naps? Cool. No head? Ah. 
damn, man. <laughs> <We're paired up. laughs> Whoa. Go live. Lion's so fluffy. <gasps> That's cool that they can like make light hey, from their gems. Uh, yeah. We Who's that? Hey, why can't I be a moon boy? We're gems. We're a space faring race designed to conquer other worlds. Our physical forms adjust automatically to the gravity of any planetoid. Oh. Ah, lame. I was bouncing on the moon one day. <coughs> so their bodies adjust huh? to the gravity of any planetoid. Who is this supposed to be? <sighs> it's Blue Diamond. Wait. Is that what Blue Diamond looks like? Here? She has a titty oh, hanging yes. out? Because there are diamonds Ooh. here, but like it looks like the thing is like. Behold, yellow diamond. Ooh. It's a wow. So. Hold up. We just saw a blue and a yellow mural, but I saw a pink mural. Is there three diamonds? Hmm. And when Pearl made the, when they made the robots, Pearl did have a pink diamond in her spacesuit. Hmm. Let's keep watching. Who are the diamonds anyway? They seem like a big deal. Are you joking me? The diamonds are the gem matriarchs. Together, they make up the great diamond authority that governs homeworld and all the outlying colonies. We live to serve them. <laughs> I mean, we were all made to serve them, even though some of us don't anymore. <laughs> hey, I think that's a control service over there. Let's take a look. Yeah. I think this is right. The material is different from the surrounding stone. I think if I just do this. <gasps> <laughs> I went, Paradise is me right now. I'm all, wow. Only the most elite of the elite can enter these sanctums. We are literally walking in the footsteps of the diamonds. They must really like stairs. Wait, who was that? Who, who was that? If I, was that the pink mural and it just looked bluish, off whitish, grayish? So are there four diamonds or the three? Oh my god. My head hurts. This is too much math for a gay guy. Okay, let's go. Hey, what's this room? It's not what we came for. Can we hurry it oh, up? What's the room? This place gives me the creeps. What is that? I wanna know what the ball is. We really are on the moon. Whoa. Oh my goodness, this looks like it could be brand new. I mean, it's a relic by today's standards, mm -hmm. but golly, it's so Go Peridot, go Peridot, sit him. <laughs> hey, what's this good, do that huh? for? Put that back. Okay, let's see here. This is a really old system. This is a really old system. Cluster, cluster. It's like Peridot is managing an iPhone 4. <laughs> Where are you, Cluster? Aha, uh -huh. there's the insertion point. It's like the It's 
roughly 2,500 units down. All we need to do is feed this data to the drill, and we should be all set. That's it then. Mission accomplished. Yeah, team. Great. Let's get the heck out of here. Moon mission. Wait, hold on. Does this thing have any games on it? No, no, no. This wasn't used for games. <laughs> no Flappy Bird. Here, look. Y'all remember Flappy Bird? So here's a map of all structures that were originally built on Earth. All told, this probably only accounts for maybe 5% of what was originally hey. planned. We've what been to one, a couple of those well, before, haven't let's we? Let's take a look. Ta-da! A finished Earth colony. Wow, look at this. 89 kindergartens, 67 spires, a galaxy warp in each basket, efficient use of all available materials. What were you thinking shutting this operation down? It could have been great! No, you're wrong. What do you mean? It's perfect. Look at it. We are looking at it. Yeah, this plan stinks. Completing this colony would have meant the extinction of all life on Earth. But yeah. think of the good it would have done. The gems that would have been made, our empire expanded. Rose Quartz believed all life was precious and worth protecting. Well, if she wanted to protect it, she did a lousy job. There'd be no cluster if the Earth had stayed a colony. Now there's no colony and there's gonna be no Earth, so... You rose quartz, you doom the planet. Oh, is there anything that's worth more than if you listen to me now? Oh. You are talking about things that you do not understand. Garnet, stop, please. It's not worth it. We're done here. Let's just go home. <laughs> Guys, I literally got I just chills. Fact. The rebellion didn't really say Earth. It just delayed the inevitable. It's not the way they see it. They spent thousands of years trying to protect the Earth. I thought maybe you finally understood why. Let's go, you two. Hmm. I don't know what happened. I don't like it. Really don't know what's gonna happen. That was such a tense moment between Garnet and Peridot and just the gems in general. My god. Whew. Next one. Message received. God damn. I'm sorry guys, this plot is just wow. Message received. Remember we skipped the intro. Let's see. How much longer till we can use the drill? Well, with the new coordinates we got from the moon base, we should be ready to go. But we really should perform a few tests first. Oh yeah, it's the diamond thing, huh? No! Steven? Peridot? I need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, sure. Why are we in this broken down vehicle? <laughs> I wanted to ask you... We're being serious. About the diamonds? No, oh, I don't know what the others have told you. But there's a reason they're in charge. Why is that? They're objectively better than us. Every gem has their strengths and weaknesses, but not them. They're absolutely, totally, completely flawless beings. Especially my diamond. Yellow diamond. The most perfect, the most reasonable, rational, efficient decider ever to exist in the universe. So, tell me if I'm wrong, because y'all have been, you know, letting me know about, like, the gem matriarchy and all that stuff in the comments, which, thank you, by the way, it clears up a lot. But as far as the diamonds, she said yellow diamond's her diamond. So... And I'm looking at it right now, the screen looks kind of yellow, greenish, off greenish type. So like, does their color represent what diamond they go to? Because I know blue diamond had a sapphire and sapphire was blue, but rubies are red. So who does rubies go to? And if that were the case, then who's red? Would that be... Somebody told me not to give it too much thought 
so I'm not going to give it too much thought. But if there's something I should know, please let me know in the comments. If there's something I'm missing, let me know. But let's continue. You're really loyal to her, aren't you? How could I not be? We might have our little truce, but I'll never forsake the gem I was made for. That's good, because she's right behind you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Save your strength. You're up against one of the Earth's greatest traffic technologies. The child safety lock. She said. She said. She said, I'm your adorable. She said, I'm a, your adorable friend, Paradox. <laughs> what do you say? I saw you sneak this off the moon base. Let's see. I have the subtitles, you guys. This off the moon base while no one else was looking. What is it? Tell me. It's nothing special. <laughs> the it's outlay. It's really not important at all. Hmm. Then why don't I just smash it? No, 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 wait. All right. I have a plan. Allow me to explain. It's a communicator. Meant for the express purpose of contacting the diamonds back on Homeworld. You're still trying to contact Homeworld? Yes, of course. I figured it out. You simple class keep trying to protect the Earth, but you can't do anything right. <laughs> I let myself get carried away too. Laughing, singing, building our little machine. But don't you see? None of that matters. All that matters is that I'm of use to Yellow Diamond. This planet can be of use to Yellow Diamond. I must contact her to reveal what I've discovered. But the diamonds are bad. They don't care about the Earth. They wanted to hollow it out, and now they want to blow it up with the cluster. Yes, yes, that's the point. Uh, why do I keep sticking my neck out for you? You're never going to be on our side. Go ahead, Amethyst, Pearl. See ah! Don't get them. Steven, He's going to go with really I'm sorry, but <laughs> does anybody really? I mean, look at these AirPods. Are these the AirPods Pro? Like, who, <laughs> who holds stuff like that? You just. Would you like something to drink? <laughs> More salsa for your chips? Like, God, it's time. <laughs> who holds stuff like that? Fucking Pearl. She's so. I love her. Man, after everything we've gone through, she's still out to get us. Oh, uh, I'm taking back all my cool nicknames for her. So long, <laughs> Carrie and Peter. Hello. Ah, too bad. I'll think of something later. I'll think of something later. <laughs> to the shampoo uh, bottles, you're all. See, she oh, knows yeah. what a horn is now. You offered her a lot of your trust. I did! And it blew up in my face. You guys have been protecting the Earth for thousands of years. She could have destroyed all of that. The whole Earth. Why did I think I could change your mind? Ugh, I know, right? But I guess you can't, like, get into other people's heads and change what they think. Oh, maybe we can. Yeah. If we just shrink down really little. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to tell her what to do. She should just know. Shouldn't she? It's good you believe in everyone, Stephen. Like your mother, you seem to have a little more patience than the rest of us. Mm. The truth is, not everyone deserves that patience. Look on the bright side. At least you got this thing away from her before she did any real... That's an important thing. Not everyone deserves that patience. You may be trying to be a nice person, but not everyone deserves you to be a nice person. Sometimes you have to be the bad person in other people's stories. I am certainly am. And if you're watching this, Hello, welcome to my lair. But anyways, I don't have it out to destroy your life. It just seems to happen that way. <laughs> Let's continue. Damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Free! Free! <laughs> <laughs> I like she laughs. Yeah. Your invisible rotary shield was no match for me! Your invisible rotary? Wait, 
why is that robot bigger than it was in the last episode? The last episode, it was like the size of the barn door. Now it's huge. It's the size of the barn now. Oh. <laughs> Get it. Where's Stephen? Stupid paradox, stupid giant robot. Oh, why, oh, why did I have to encourage her? Hey, that's cool. There's no time for feeling horrible. We have to catch Paradox before she contacts the other diamond. That's right. You can feel horrible all you want back at the temple. <laughs> Mexicans know each other, but his name is Pablo, uh, and he's got a sister named Juanita. <laughs> or not all gays know each other, but he slept with him, who slept with him, who slept with him, who topped him, and then was versatile for him. But not all gays know each other. <laughs> Let's continue. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> there we go. Authorized you to make this call? No one. But it's an emergency. That's no excuse to use the direct diamond communication channel. Pearl? Yes, my diamond? Why is there someone on the diamond line? I don't know. I was just about to tell her that... I'll take it from here. <gasps> Porting in. Which paradox? Fast it. 2F5L. Cut 5XG. I'm sorry to contact you this way, but all other forms of communication have been destroyed and... This says you're behind schedule on your mission to... How is the Earth? It's full of life. Organic life. And where is the Jasper I assigned you? And why aren't you calling from the ship? Oh, the ship was destroyed. By whom? It, it, it was destroyed by... No one. There was an accident while we were landing. She just covered. I'll inform your manager of your incompetence. And what is the status <laughs> of the cluster? The little pearl. The cluster will emerge shortly. Good. We'll finally get some use out of that miserable planet. Thank you for your report, Paradot. There'll be a ship heading to your location to take you to your next assignment. Wait. I, I, I wouldn't have called just to waste your time with a report. You already have. No, I mean... The reason I called, the real reason is, I believe we should terminate the cluster. Oh, there it is. Why? The organic ecosystem creates resources unique to this world. We can't sacrifice all that potential just for one geo-weapon. I'd like to tell you some plans I came up with to utilize the planet without disrupting the local- I've heard enough. I don't care about potential and resources. What? I want my cluster, and I want that planet to die. Just make that happen. No! <gasps> huh? Are you questioning my authority? I'm questioning your objectivity, my diamond. Wow! You are out of line. I just think... I'm not interested in the puny thoughts She's of huge! 
But you have disrespected this channel and my time with your presence, and you would do well to... But shut your mouth! You have failed at every stage of this mission. Your only chance to redeem yourself is to obey this simple order. You are to leave the cluster to grow. It will tear apart the Earth, and I will take immense satisfaction in erasing that hideous rock off of our star maps. Is that clear? Then I won't do it! I can tell you with certainty that there are things on this planet worth protecting! Oh my god! What do you know about the Earth? Apparently more than you, you clod! <laughs> She's kind of a badass. That has to be Amethyst rubbing off on her. Wow. I, can't ah! I just did that. I was so wrong about being so wrong about you. I can't believe I just did that. You thought you could change our mind. <laughs> Yellow D got torn down ah! by the pterodactyl. Hey. <laughs> can one of you take this? Why? Because it can be remotely detonated. <laughs> 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 wow. I thought I could reason with her. Yeah, you really made her mad. And then you insulted her to her face. Do you know what this means? I'm a traitor to my own. <laughs> You're a crystal gem! Whether you like it or not. <laughs> 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 oh my god, we got a new team member. Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I know you guys, it's the last episode. We have to close this out, but it's gonna be log date 715-2. Let's see what that episode's about. I know, I wish I could keep watching it with you guys, but I'll, I gotta keep y'all watching my channel. If not, then y'all aren't gonna click on anything. I gotta keep y'all anticipating. Let's see. So remember, we skip the intros here on this channel because we're afraid of copyright. All right. Log date, 7152. Ah! So it is 7152. Continue. Can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I obeyed my orders and went against Yellow Diamond's wishes. I'm a traitorous clawn. I never want to think about what I've done again. I'm a traitorous clawn. <laughs> And I called Yellow Diamond a clod right to her face. I called Yellow Diamond oh. a clod right to her face. I think that was her 13th reason. <laughs> like, she was really going through it. Oh my god. Like, wow. What if that was her last straw? What if she was suicidal? You don't know. Oh, wow. Uh, Paradox, are you gonna be okay? I'm a traitorous clod. I'm a traitorous clod. No! <laughs> it's not gonna work out. No. You're with us now. You don't understand. I'm protecting a planet I was once trying to destroy. I used to follow every order, every rule. Now I'm a traitor, a rebel, a crystal gem. The stars! <laughs> go on, go on. Well, that tape recorder seems to be helping. No, it's not! It's a chronicle of my descendants of madness! Paradox is me. When I found out, I could first talk back to my parents. <laughs> I know. When I realized they're not that tall because I grew, and when I realized they're not that scary because I can yell too, um, I talked back to my parents for the first time back when I was in high school, and it was a newfound power. It was a trip for sure. I was all, <laughs> shut up, bitch. <laughs> I didn't say bitch, but I was just like, shut up. And yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> but then I ran to my room and I was like, Anyways, let's continue. You drove this. Get it away from me. Give it to Steven. Return madness to its source. Are you sure you don't want it? Whatever. It's yours now. Yours. Not mine. Not mine. Yours. Yours. Let's calm down. Okay. So am I going to have to wear a star? Where am I going to put the star? <laughs> they seem to be getting a long one. <laughs> She's so... I wonder when that happened. 
shit. Where am I gonna put the star? She seems very like. Seven one one two. The Steven has given me this Earth machine to replace my communicator log. It looks extremely primitive. He also said he wanted me to stop calling him the Steven. It's just Steven. I said I'd call him whatever I want. <laughs> he told me that was rude. Rude. <coughs> I guess I'll call him Steven. He told me that was <laughs> The organic life forms of Earth have fascinating traits despite their poor choice of residence. I wonder if all of them have flight capabilities. Flight capabilities? Oh, you must be Paradot. <laughs> oh. 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 She just Why pushed Greg off the... You can't just shove someone off of a roof. <laughs> Why not? This is a human. He isn't like us. He's fragile and soft. Hey, it's not like a six pack is gonna save you from that height. <laughs> you can seriously hurt him. <laughs> well, I'm supposed to know that. It's not like a six pack, but a say. You have to excuse Peridot. She's far from her homeworld. She still has a lot to learn about our planet. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. In conclusion, yes, you do. not all of the organic beings here can fly. <laughs> Additionally, it is without question that the permafusion garnet is the worst. Today I was assigned a chore. Cleaning duty. What kind of a pearl? These clumps don't know how lucky they are to have me. Although while doing chore, mm. I did happen upon a container containing many shirts. Shirts. Appearance modifiers that aren't melted to your body. Today marks the 30th Earth rotation since my capture. Happy one month anniversary! Cylinders. They're still Cylinders. You tie them on your feet and they make you taller. I tried to spruce them up a bit. I don't know what it is about flames, but they just make everything cooler. Kind of Why are you giving me these? Because I want you to feel nice. That's what gifts are for. Mm. You give them to your friends to show you care. And they go, wow, thanks. <laughs> as if I'd stoop so low as to tie your earth trash to my body. <laughs> go, 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 go. And wow, thanks. <laughs> Fair enough. She's Why, learning. yes, Pearl, I did get taller. How correct of you to notice. Of course, Amethyst. I will acquire those cheesy chaps for you off that very high shelf. Yeah. <laughs> they even function in reverse. <laughs> Jokes. <clears throat> Why did the chicken cross the road? The chicken wanted to get to the other side of the road. <laughs> What's a chicken? That it chicken? seems the Earth ones are constantly filling the voids of their life with meaningless distractions. Um, on the last episode of Camp Pining Hearts, I don't care that you're on the yellow team, Percy. We can make this work. It's cooler, Wumpulet. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Aww. What is this strange ritual? Uh, that's, um... Are they attempting fusion? <laughs> no, well... My dad told me during certain stages in your life, how could anyone indulge in this? Baseless drivel. I'll have no part of it. Hour 78 of Camp Pining Hearts. <laughs> 78 cool hours? Does that mean anything to you? Uh, you've been here for a few days. Is everything okay? I've just been watching your previously recorded entertainment. Is that the same episode from three days ago? There's more than one. Oh, you made a picture. Picture? This isn't just a picture, Steven. It's a complex chart cataloging the compatible characteristics between campers. Somehow the rejects at Camp Claude fail to recognize the superior pair that is Pierre and Percy. Well, that's because Paulette likes Percy. Paulette? Ha! Paulette has no place in the camp's hierarchy. Now Pierre. Pierre is a brute. Pierre laid waste to the three-legged races. Pierre and Percy present the strongest battle formation. They destroy the camp! You got all this from one episode? <laughs> that's, it's... that's me with um, Grey's Anatomy. 
I'm watching Grey's Anatomy right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Grey's Anatomy. Ah, perfect show. And this one too. Subtext, Steven. Subtext. Well, first of all, uh, your article about the Well, I remember this part. And that's why Percy and Pierre are objectively the best for each other. <laughs> Seven one three two. Progress on the cluster drill is going optimal, surprisingly. Though I have a few complaints on the work ethic of. Hey! <laughs> this really, this is no time to be fooling around. Ah, oh, come on, P. I'm just trying to lion the mood. <laughs> lion the mood. Pearl's trying to laugh. <laughs> you can see she was off. Shape shifting like this. You mean to be really cool? Pretty much. But it's oh, such a significant use of energy compared, compared to the output. output. What was that? I've been practicing my peri phrasing. Pretty impressive in my opinion, but it's hard to beat the original. <laughs> so, can Flattery. you shift into anything? Sure. Got a request? Hmm. Bop, bop, I'm a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I get the joke now. Ah. <laughs> yes, well, at least she isn't lying around anymore. Girl <laughs> 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 really tries for some reason, and I can appreciate that. Amethyst's company is entertaining as well, but the fused one eludes me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just because Garnet doesn't say anything that's on her mind. You just kind of have to read Garnet. She's kind of like Garut when he's like, I am Garut. You have to be around her to kind of know what she's saying, you know? Okay, we can add more support as we go, but for now, we just have to pick it up and put it on top. Yes. No sweat. Let's do this. <laughs> You've got the right idea, but we might want to be a bit more careful. Gotcha. <clears throat> Shall we? Oppo! Oppo's back. Never realized. That looks great. Never realized how tall Oppo is. Oppo is really tall. Let's take a break. What? Alright, I'm at my limit. <laughs> Evening paradox. <laughs> Explain it to me, Fusion. I can at least make sense of your existence if it's for a functional purpose. But you? You're not using your combined size and strength to do anything! I'm doing something. And what's that? Stargazing. Ugh, you can do that alone. Don't want to. <sighs> you can see whole world's galaxy from here. You're right. We're very different. I appreciate that. Really? If you really want to understand fusion, I can help you. What do you mean? Let's fuse. Oh my god! So intimate. I don't know, Garnet. You're not ready. That's fair. Another <sighs> time. No! No, no, no! Just, just give me a sec. I'd react the same way if Garnet asked me to fuse with her. We're like, oh, you sure? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she gets it now. <laughs> Vision. Wow, thanks. Future. Yay. All right. Well, 
That was that, you guys. That was pretty cool, huh? Well, looks like we're done here. So be sure to tune in next episode because we're going to be doing the, um, the season premiere of season three of Steven Universe. Wah, 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 wah. So yeah, hopefully in season three they get at the cluster and they get the cluster taken care of. But um, yeah, other than that, you guys, uh, thank you so much for um, watching this video. Please like and comment, subscribe. To my channel again subscribing seems like it's such a small thing to you but it's a huge thing to me so please subscribe um yeah no i'll see you in the next one goodbye that was lame don't even know okay bye